hello uh, let's talk about meta classes meta classes are like the soul of uh, python classes uh, it's like uh, it's that energy or that driving engine that uh, helps uh, creating the class uh, <clears throat> it's like uh, yeah it's exactly like it's the blueprint of the blueprint remember how we discussed that uh, our class is the blueprint out of which you create objects so meta classes is the blueprint of the blueprint you build so uh, you can say like our classes are objects and the objects we create out of the classes is an object of object so the main classes will always remain as the meta classes uh, like uh, <clears throat> Uh, you see, uh, we can create your own meta classes. If you don't, Python will assign a default meta classes to it, uh, to the func uh, to the classes you create. I'm not going to show how to write a meta class because I already have a video in the basic Python uh, training of five videos. There I have uh, shown everything how to create a meta classes and a class and all. Here I'm just going to describe it for you how it works. Uh, <clears throat> it's like uh, you create one class assign as a meta class of the next class you create and it works you can simply uh, like uh, uh, let me give you an example suppose uh, you want to create a singleton design pattern uh, now tell me what is a singleton design pattern is suppose you want to create a class which will have at most one instance out of it if you try to create a second instance out of it or more than one instance it will show you some error message okay so how many may how many different ways you can do that there are so many uh, one simple way is you define a static variable in a class uh, change increment it on each uh, instance creation and check it in the init method and just break it if you don't uh, get it but the next time uh, you do it like every time you create an instance you have to increment it manually okay but there's a new method the next method like you create a meta class there you define like it will only create one instance and next time onwards will not create and you just pass this as a meta class of the class you want to create so it follows it right because uh, the demerit of the previous one is suppose you have created a class you have created the instance on the second instance case and method it uh, shows you the error that is fine suppose tomorrow you create another class by inheriting this main class the that singleton class it will it is not going to follow that because that's the logic you have written for the main class okay but using the meta class that is going to be followed for its children its grand grandchildren and its great grandchildren and so so on. so this is the best method to do it this is just an example you can get how to do it from any stack link or just google it you will find a lot of it it's very popular method to do it okay so this is the last video of uh, object oriented programming in python and uh, i hope uh, you enjoyed the video and if you have any question drop in the comments or send me an email or at binari2009 at gmail.com or you can tweet me at binari2009 it's my twitter handle um, and thank you for watching and uh, thank you for being so patient for so long uh, i have taken a too long time to create all the videos on hoops uh, thank you for your patience bye bye